Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I thought I had this. <coughs> Pardon me. No. That's better. So I... I switched my... encoder to... the... instead of my graphics card, it's some of than else. And it's given me a OBS does not like it. Funny because I can't go lower and it's not hanging up. Really? My internet just dropped. Thankfully I am not streaming. I was streaming a video earlier uh, private stream actually it was unlisted I thought it was private turns out it was unlisted but it was just a, a fractal plus music that I made 30 minutes into the stream internet dropped I'm like really and now it drops again so thankfully I am not playing World of Warcraft anymore I took a break um, I'm trying to farm the gold but on my demon hunter between two two vaults like one does one map expansion and then my other alt does a different map expansion so right now i am doing that but thankfully i got off before my internet decided to just go out randomly um, and if I click it well it's come up limited yes whatever that means as you can see I have my cat ears on again um, not my hell syrup I'm just trying something new okay I really really do not like this monitor color my dual monitor the one on the right not where the cam is. The one on the right is better than the... B yeah. So, yeah, I can't really do nothing about that un unless I get a, a new computer or a new digital camera. But that's for another discussion. Really, a forlorn minute. Part one of rambling about life, yeah, technical difficulties, etc. Part one complete. Okay, but that's not. <coughs> that's not what I wanted to uh, discuss. And for some reason, my brain just went. I don't know what to talk. So, yeah, my brain just went dead for whatever reason. Um, let me think. Actually, that's been common. Uh, actually, uh, this trend. Kind of, that's what I wanted to uh, discuss I guess um okay that OBS is just uh close out of that because the internet is out and turn this monitor off because that's giving me a headache okay that's exactly what I wanted to discuss energy shifting when dealing with utter bs okay so yesterday i went on about how she asked me for help i said something stupid like i will never get this thing done which has taken me two days to complete and she gets bent out of shape and then 
she's like, okay, I will never ask for your help ever again. And then later that same day, when I try to help her when I'm, I could, she's like, no, I don't want your help. Remember, I said that. Today, guess what happened? I'm gonna let you think, Dick Duck. She goes ahead and asks for my help, despite her saying yesterday, "I do not want your help anymore with this." So what happens? I have to log out of my game, go try to do the thing that she wants me to help with, only to find out that I sat out though for like, I don't know, between, if, at the time I felt like a minute or two, maybe five, and then my help is not required anymore. So yeah, that kind of annoyed me. Like I, I get, have to take off this jacket to put on my winter heavy jacket for colder weather. This is only for fall. But even then, it, I don't like to wear it uh, because it's not... That's despite the point. Um, so I have to basically change out of this jacket into a heavier jacket, put on socks, put on my scarf and my hat, just to go to help with the thing, only to discover that my help was not required. So you made me log out of my game for no apparent reason, and then she's like, well, you didn't want to help anyways. Yeah, because I was in a dungeon, okay, a raid, actually, um, legacy mode. By legacy mode, I mean old content that I can solo. However, if I do leave, I either get disconnected because my internet drops, or I die, or... I don't die, but I get dis disconnected. So yeah, I'm trying to farm the gold just to um, get the BFA expansion before Shadowlands come out. The next expansion, which drops in any well from, I don't know, there's no date yet. Um, the the pre-order ends December 2020 of next year, so the game could come out sometime in 2021, because December is right before January the next year, so yeah. And right now my life is like, I can't even get on my PC half the time because I have to do other s nonsense basically, like binge watch movies or binge watch TV, like nonstop. Or the TV is on but no one's watching it and I get distracted by the TV that no one is watching. So that's a thing. So basically, for the past year, well, most of my life actually, ex except uh, before I had my... Before? I was in... Well, actually, I was hardly on the PC back when I was a kid because I was more concentrated on video games and not PC. So yeah, 
<coughs> so, yeah, basically if I was still in my office, senses are... Well, that's the thing, I was hardly on the PC even then. Again, binge watching TV non-stop or waiting to want something. Basically waiting on the other person. So, yeah. My life is a living nightmare half the time. Because dealing with 3D people is utter nonsense. But we are put here for that reason to rise above them, to learn our mistakes, etc. To help other people to teach, to show, uh, to ultimately move above the frequency. But right now, it's just... You can tell my energy is not what it should be. I'm basically still trapped between Well, let's just say, well, it's kind of right now, it's because I'm tired, but really it's just the frustration energy she puts out. The other thing is, how come I can learn things much easier to figure things out on my own? So she's basically complaining that I have no idea how to play this game anymore because they changed it too much from old school to current. Well, they have two modes. One is old school, which is back from around 2004, whatever. And then they, the, the base game is the new school which is new combat, new everything, changes, etc. I'm like, have you clicked on every single tab trying to find things because what do you think I did? I had to click on every little tab, click on everything to learn my way around the new UI interface and find things. So she basically gets frustrated, takes it out, takes it out on me, just, just talks in frustration, but it's actually anger. She talks in anger at me. I feel the energy rubbing off onto me and I get irritated and annoyed and angry back and it's not good. So basically, those, that energy vampire draining me once again, shoving me into a type of depression, almost. I say that because I bounced back. I was in depression for like, well, it's not really full-blown depression because it kind of varies. So there's the loneliness, depression, which is no one is talking to you, no one is commenting, except they were commenting, so I, I bounced back because people were commenting or interacting with me. Then there's the, the energy around me is draining me like a psychic vampire would draining your energy stealing your energy shoving you into a type of depression so I've been struggling with that one but also the weather can affect you not just people it's also your environment plus the stupid weather. 
So right now we are going into, like I said, we just had snow on the ground, so it's getting colder outside, and I don't like the cold. I hate winter, to be honest. It's too cold for me. I prefer the spring, to be honest. Not too hot, not too cold, etc. Not because of everything that's coming to life, but... Uh, if I was in a forest and I would see that, I would be into it. However, I am not in a forest and around here just looks ugly. So why would I care? <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I just prefer not too cold and not too hot. A medium, uh, temperature person. So, uh... That would be what, uh, equator area, I guess, um, I suppose. I don't really know. I just don't do well with winter. And I think that's also why my form of depression is hitting me because I hate this time of year, to be honest. What's coming, I dread it. I have to put up with two people I don't like at all. Three people, actually. My uncle, who I used to paint around when I was younger. I would hang out with him when I was uh, really young. Uh, I don't remember the ages until I got, I grew out of it. And then, and now it's like, I can't even stand him. It's his energy, okay? The energy I cannot stand. So, what happened between back then versus now? He was baptized. That's what happened. I cannot stand that energy. I, I'm not a, a burn the search type of person, burn all searches, no, uh, I'm not that type of person, however, I don't agree with the Bible, I, I don't agree with it, um, uh, it, it's the energy, uh, I think for myself, I don't, oh, I'm gonna pray to the wall, oh, I'm gonna pray to the floor, Oh, I'm going to pray to this invisible man and hope for the better. I'm not a fucking tree. I get shit done, okay? I get stuff done. I do the work. I think for myself. I don't allow this false... <laughs> I say false god because that thing, whatever it is... Basically, uh, I'm gonna turn the other cheek and love my enemies who want me dead or raped me or murdered. Yeah. You want me to love that person and to forgive that type of people? You're insane. So, yeah, that's why I don't agree with that whole nonsense. Uh, and the energy is just way off. So, uh, the type of, uh, entities that I align with, the, the first one that now jumps out, since I've evolved again, no more, uh, learned more, as I say, what entity comes to mind now? Buddha. That entity comes to mind now. Very powerful, spilled soul, uh, public figure, if you will. So, yeah, I align more with that. Even though I hardly know about it, all I know is as uh, it's very spiritual path. Um, and I align with that now. Besides the whole Egyptian pantheon and a little bit of Loki, actually. Uh, he's a fun dead team. Um, my ex hated him. He 
said he, uh, well, every story derives from these two deities fighting. He thinks Loki was a villain, the the bad guy, and I'm like, well, let's uh, say I know more now, and Loki is not a demon, not evil. He's just having fun. He's a prank king. Why is that evil? But again, I don't know the lore. I just know from the Thor movies. And But from that, I can say... I'm into the fun pranking type of, type of thing. I don't see Loki as evil. Uh, he's just fun, you know? It's just, I'm gonna prank people! Like, come on. Why do you think... You, if those... He just said he's... Loki is evil because he is fighting with Thor. What type of... Well... This is to be... F well, I'm just gonna say... Okay, Thor and Loki were technically brothers, except one was adopted because he's not even... Uh, well, again, I'm going from the movies, and he was this ice bean type thing. I'm just going to say alien. So he, Loki is an alien, Thor is uh, not an alien. Thor, uh, Loki is an alien to Thor, so that's why I said adopted brother. But he was the the point. Siblings argue. Siblings fight. Siblings get zealous. What type of siblings never fight each other or pick on each other? Let me let me let that sink in. Yeah, I. That's how I got really. Uh, that my ex thought, oh, Loki is evil because he is fighting Thor. I'm like, well, Loki was an adopted alien brother to Thor, so siblings fight. Who doesn't fight with their younger brother or sister? They just want attention or they are jealous, whatever, so they get on your nerves. That's not really to say- that that's kind of- okay, why call that person evil zest and only because of sibling rivalry? Like, really? No. Loki is just a fun-loving prank king who likes to prank people. That is not evil. <laughs> it's just- I had to get that off my chest. It's it's been floating in the back of my mind for like ever since I figured that one out. And it kind of hit me again. Like, oh, my ex thought Loki was evil, even though he's not. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to think. What was I saying again? Uh, uh, before the whole Loki thing. Oh yeah, the pantheons that I align with. Uh, right, the whole not 3D matrix nonsense. I think for myself, I do the work, I read certs, I soul certs, I uh, try to listen to the universe, which is actually meaning I listen to the gods, the real gods and goddesses who try to talk to me and I try to listen. Um, spirit guides, in other words, are real angels, archangels even, because the archangels are real. Uh, yeah, and not evil. That That's the weird thing with me. I don't align with the Bible, however, I acknowledge that the archangels are real and I have a guardian angel. However, 
I do not align with the Bible. Mind blown, really. Uh, so yeah, I can kind of bend the rules. Oh wait, being an adult, there are no rules that can bind you. Anyone who thinks they are bound by something is 3D. Lower vibration, lower thinking person who was closed off to the other dimensions and higher frequencies. That's, yeah, mind blown what I know now, how I see things. Uh, right. Um, Oh yeah, the other person, well, I don't really know her, I just know her from off of Facebook when I had an account, see, uh, so I made a song called Why, because I listed a bunch of random questions that it was floating through me, and she asked me something stupid like, are you Christian or something on those lines and I'm like like really you had to go there like don't do not be shoving that in my freaking face no don't be shoving your Bible nonsense at my face because I rose above it okay that's offensive to me and then But, yeah, like, well, I mean, it's not the only thing she did on Facebook. It's like, uh, she asked me who it was, are you actually this person, or are you a stranger who is pretending to be her or something? That's like, really? Like, Stop getting into my business. But it's like, well, you put it out there public, so you had it coming. But on a freaking song that I wrote, you had to go to with, oh, ask for God for forgiveness, ask for Jesus, blah, blah, blah. No. No. I don't align with the Bible. Do not be shoving that into my face. But again, it's her energy that I cannot stand. My uncle married into her. And... Yeah, she got him into the whole church nonsense and... Bible nonsense and blah 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 trying to shove it into my face here and like, oh look, look on my phone we have him being baptized, look like, I don't freaking care, okay like, no and like and then one time they try to show something again out of church I don't even remember because I stormed out of the room to get away from the it's too loud. So I stormed out of the room. My dad chases me and says something to me like, don't be doing that or something. I'm like, I left because it was too loud. That and I have no taste for it. You call on me rude? Because I left? Because it was too loud? I mean, I didn't say anything, I just left, okay? So there was that incident which irritated me. And now it's like, well, every time they come for the holidays now, it's like, we don't exchange conversation, we don't look at each other, we don't do nothing. Including her, her kid. 
We used to back when we had the, the game machines and one and uh, but yeah. Let's just say before we moved to this new location, things were better. However, they were still terrible. Because I can't stand the energies and now it's like they don't even acknowledge you. They come for the food, however, they are mean about it. Like, oh, we don't really want this. They're ungrateful, basically. I mean, we tried to ask you what would you like to have and you respond with nothing. Oh, what we usually have. And then you don't like it and you're ungrateful. Is like really? Besides the whole lovey dovey family time happy happy situations that you keep seeing on Hallmark Channel or in every Christmas movie that's out there. So yeah, it's not my favorite time of year. And because of the nonsense I put up with, but it's really because I cannot stand the energies. Get the freak away from me. Boom. So you can tell I'm frustrated and irritated and just being in the, the midst of a psychic vampires. Uh, but it's a life lessons being shared. What can I say? I'm here doing my mission, that's all that matters, trying to find the others who are on the same path. Not 3D, they are moving towards 5D, not being convinced that, oh, they are moving in 5D, however, they are still a big fat D. Yeah. I don't turn the other cheek. I will not forgive evil. I will not love evil. There is no reason for it. Then you wonder why the chaos is in the world. You let the evil people walk free. You can see it on the news. Guy, um, usually the cops get away with something they shouldn't. People think they are above the law and get away with it or they don't it just varies because right now it's just stupid and people wonder why the chaos is in the world uh because you let nothing but 3d become the norm oh it's because if you were on 5d you would not be able to control the masses. The masses should stay asleep. Therefore, we do everything in our power to make the people continue to be on 3D, stopping them from being on 5D at every given opportunity. Meaning, once 3D, they make it very difficult for you to wake up. And if you do wake up, chances are they will try to quiet you. Because an awake person is, is harder to control than a 3D zombie person. Because zombies cannot think for themselves. Clones. Drones. Robot. Okay, let's just use a robot. An analogy. 3D people stay 3D because the government does not want you to be awake and they will do everything in their power to quiet the 5D people. And yet, Yet, for some reason, Ancient Alien is not being quieted. Mind blown. Because 
That is also how I woke up, listening to their documentaries, and reading the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, and other magic books like that, and other documentaries that you can find on YouTube if you can still find them. Because the, that was a thing while well, YouTube was hiding things, removing things. Oh wait, they still are. Copyright. So, yeah. Um. And. I'm trying to think, is, is that everything that I need to uh, discuss? Because I'm very tired right now. Well... I wish I could update the lighting. Again, I hate this lighting. However, one monitor sucks, the other monitor looks okay, so I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, however, my other camera looks the better, but I have to hold it. And my other one, the battery does not hold its charge. I think I overcharged it for too long, or, or it was dead for too long, and or... It hates dark light. When I was recording Mirror Magic, I would would be with a flashlight and try to uh, record, and my battery life would not have it because it does charge, but then it's like, nope. So either I need a new battery or my energy, my aura, is sucking the battery life out of it. I don't know if that's even a thing. They say poltergeist, uh... I don't know, I was watching Ghostbusters or whatever, and they came up with this person randomly turns on the TV and they said, oh, it's a poltergeist activity, but from a person. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know. And right now, I have no idea why I'm squinting like that. It's like, my eyes just want to... Yeah. They'll get more and more tired. Great. Um, but, yeah. If, if my internet is back, I will look up that. Real quick, okay, it is the uh, pulled human what? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able. Yeah, no. Leave that for for you to research. I'm going to call it here until we meet again. <laughs>